Hello everybody, Alex here, and uh, thanks again to everybody who's been commenting and subscribing. Uh, it really means a lot to me. I love the discussions uh, as always. Uh, today I wanted to talk about hanging folders, hanging file folders, uh, specifically drawer construction. Now, I'm working on these cabinets here. I've recently changed my drawer construction to the quarter, quarter, quarter technique. Previously, I was using uh, pocket hole screws. You know, I just switched this setup. It's a very stout construction. Um, it requires a little bit of setup, uh, but that's okay. Uh, th this little this little table saw here, I've got set up with a dado blade on it. That's pretty much what I have dedicated uh, for the dado setup. So that allows me now uh, to start doing this type of construction and other type of uh, dado construction. We have a regular table saw over there. Um, that's the workhorse. That's set up to cut whatever, whenever. Um, dado. Anyway, so moving to this construction, uh, I, I, I like it very much. I got all my stock here cut, ready to go. Um, but then I was thinking about file folders or the hanging file folders. So we have here this cabinet. We have 18 inch outside cabinet pretty standard you know that's going to give you a, a, a 15 inch uh, opening because we have one and a half inch face frame again pretty standard uh, so that'll give you a drawer that's about 14 inches uh, outside dimension that'll fit inside here of course that's if you're using standard uh, slides that'll that'll take up about half inch on either side and then that'll leave you with a drawer that's about 13 inches 13 and a 16th on the inside. Uh, as you know, this half inch stock isn't quite always exactly half inch. What we need here uh, from this little divot to this little divot is about 12 and an eighth, 12 and three sixteenths. Um, so it always causes somewhat of an issue uh, to get these to fit nicely into that standard drawer. So in the past, what I had been doing is basically making a smaller drawer, not this small obviously, but making a smaller drawer and then just uh, planing out some shims so that we can get the slides out uh, to meet where they're gonna meet here. And then basically uh, cutting that drawer and customizing it to the size of the file folder. However, I was thinking about it and uh, I came up with another technique. Now, forgive me if this has been done. Maybe I've seen it somewhere and, you know, subconsciously it came to me again. Uh, but I'd like to run this by y'all and, and, and hear the comments. So here's my, my drawer slide, uh, side I should say, and I've got all my grooves in it. But in addition, I did one more groove here towards the top. This is about half an inch wide by about a sixteenth of an inch deep, a little, little more than that, but at least a sixteenth of an inch. And it's about half an inch from the top here. This is gonna be my top. And the reason I'm doing that is we use these little H uh, plastic moldings for the file folders. And these are meant, you know, to click, clip on, clip on here, the, you know, the sides of the folders and then the, um, the files ride in here. Okay, so by cutting this little channel, what it allows me to do is to attach this little H-frame molding onto a little uh, uh, filler strip here. Okay, and then I can attach this to the side, to the inside of the box. And that groove I cut, that little 1 16th inch groove, allows this channel to suck in just a tiny little bit so now this little filler strip is sitting flat against the the the, the wall of the uh, the drawer here and it allows me just enough room to get this baby to get in there and slide um again let me know if this has been done before um maybe I don't know, maybe it has, and, and I'm just now, you know, coming up with it, but it's an idea that came to me last night, and I thought I'd give it a try. Here it is. Um, this allows me to do standard drawers. Now all my drawer widths are the same. They're going to fit with the standard slides in a standard cabinet and uh, hanging folder. And I, and I actually like this system because, as you can see, it's captive here, front and back, so 
you can slide this all the way down and they won't get jammed in there so anyway i hope this was helpful to anybody and um let me know what you think in the comments uh again i love the discussion so um thanks for watching and uh yeah god bless there we go take care